Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is November 1st, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. Victory. Tesla closed at 12.09.32. We are up $95.32 in one day. That's 8.56%. What can we ask for more? Post market, we are down a little bit, uh, 1.58. Look at this. Let's look at what this looks like on the chart. So we have a nice green candle. Nice green candle. We have a wick at the bottom, no wick at the top. So bunning pressure and we finished very close to the high of the day. And we broke this resistance that we had here. So we were trading and trending. Tesla has been trending into this three channel, into these three channels. And we have been trading more recently in the first channel here, going back and forth, up and down, blah, 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 blah. blah. And now we broke the second channel. So this was an indication that, oh, there's some strength in that stock. And then, and then we did not stay in that second channel for long because we just, we broke the second channel on October 25th. And now we are even outside of the fourth channel. This is absolutely crazy. This is bonkers. I want to do something like this to try to understand up to where this stock can go. This is what I wanted to do. So let's do this. So I did the resistance. I applied the resistance on top of the resistance that we had approximately in January of last year to see where Tesla could go. And maybe this is what is going to happen. Maybe, just maybe, we are going to be topping this here. So it, yeah, this is very close. So 1228. 1228, approximately 1228 might be an area where we are going to stop. We could have stopped right here on this, on this 1154 resistance, but we just broke through like we did in January of last year, of uh, this year. We broke outside of, the, of that and used that as a support and then we fell down. So this time maybe we are going to use this and stay above 11.58. So support is approximately at 11.54. So if it goes down to 11.54, don't panic. This is just par for the course, but we can go as high at 12.28 uh, to be in line with this fourth channel. So maybe we need to call it the fourth channel that we are having here. Let's go see the one hour chart. Yeah. Let me just redraw this. So this is the first hour of the day here. So a little bit of a gap compared to where we closed yesterday and also the high of uh, Friday. So a little bit of a gap here, red candle, but a uh, nice wick at the bottom, then green crossing the third channel resistance. So the third channel resistance was crossed right here on the second hour. Then on the third hour, we paused on it. Look at this. It paused on it. So this is validating that those lines are real. The stock is using those lines. Then fourth hour was a little bit of a eh, selling pressure on top, a longer wick on, on top. So selling pressure, then fifth hour, red candle, and then boom, green. And all of the indicators are fantastic. Let's go back to the daily chart. Let's look at our indicators. Oh yeah. Look at, let's look at the volume first. So volume here at 54 million. And last week we had 65 million. So a little bit uh, less volume, but still really high volume. Stochastic at 99.81. RSI 94.2. So never sell when RSI is overbought because you would have sold Tesla at 800 bucks and you would have missed all of this. And in Guru, 50% since the 800 bucks. Never sell when RSI goes overbought. Wait until it comes back down underneath 70. That's fair. But now when things go up, we let them go up. We just write the pony, write the pony into the horizon. MACD, super great. DMI, super great. What can I say? 
What can I say? Let's just, what can I say? Let's just write this post market. We are up now three bucks. So just pay attention to 1156 approximately. So this is our support and uh, also pay attention to 26. So that's a resistance that might be happening. If not, let's just enjoy this show. So stay tuned for the rest of the week to see what is happening with Tesla. I do a video every single weekday and also on weekends if you are a member. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member. It's only five bucks a month, US. And uh, also we have a training view affiliate link if you want to use this great tool. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.